Hello everyone. I have always been fascinated with the world of browsers and I have, I have always been interested to understand how it works under the hood. Therefore, I thought I could clone the source code of the browser, try to build it and run it on my local computer and at least modify the source code to make it visible on the front end and start my journey to understand how browser works under the hood. So in this video, I would like to share what I had to do in order to clone and clone build and run Firefox nightly browser on my Mac. Uh, there are obviously different obstacles that you might have to face. Uh, in this video, I would like to share what I had to face uh, or the obstacles that I had to face and how I was able to find the solution um, and move ahead. So let's start. So the first step you need to do is go to the documentation of the Firefox source. This Mozilla documentation and um, if you are using Mac OS, you need to follow the documentation defined uh, in this documentation. Yeah, so basically what I had to do was I had to install Xcode. So to install Xcode, you can go to app store yeah it's just like a normal process what did i do how do we... okay so you just need to go to app store why is this opening this video app store yes let's go to the app store type in Xcode then you just need to install it yeah I haven't updated that but let's keep that outside of this video you just need to install Xcode and then try to follow the documentation so I had to create different folder for that and then run this command make directory which will create source directory inside the uh, inside the folder and then i need I had to use curl command in order to download this bootstrap.py file and yes you need to install python as well so once you have installed python uh, you have to run python 3.bootstrap.py so when i tried to run this I had some issues but after what after reading this documentation I figured out that we can also we have we can make sure that we have to clone the source code manually that's uh, that's another option so I tried to clone the source code manually um, for that I oh it's quite slow not this one so in order to clone the source code where is that maybe this one no 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 actually you can go to google and just say clone clone and run mozilla firefox oh i don't have internet Yeah, just click on the first link and you will see that you can use this hg hg is a command from mercurial so you might have to install mercurial so you can go to the mercurial scm web page download I, I had downloaded this mercurial 5.5 just click download this install the mercurial after that you will be able to run this command hg uh yeah as a clone it's similar to git instead of git clone you just need to say hg clone blah 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 and then uh you will be able to clone that it will take around uh 30 to 45 minutes for me it took around 45 minutes to clone the whole source code inside this firefox source directory yeah it, after running this command it took me 45 minutes to do that so once i have once i had cloned this into the firefox source directory 
I had to go to the source directory yeah present working directory and the right direct right directory and then go back to the documentation where is the documentation yes then after that once I have cloned the source code I had cloned the source code I had to run this dot Mac bootstrap command let me try to do this now probably should not take okay so it will ask you to uh, choose what would you like to install or build so I chose option 2 Firefox for desktop currently I don't want to do that I will just cancel it <clears throat> after that you will have to run this dot Mac build command so now after running this command you just grab a coffee and just wait and watch it will take around one hour for me it took one hour even though my computer is like Mac Pro uh, with pretty good configuration okay I don't want to <laughs> get into the detail of the configuration of the Mac but it took me uh, at least I can show the version number of the Mac I'm using so I'm using Mac Pro uh, Mac OS Catalina 10.15.2 and yeah my RAM is 16 GB 6 core Intel i7 even in this computer it took around one hour to build the whole source code of the Firefox so after that so once the build is done you see I mean it just took I mean it just took few minutes I guess even less than two or three minutes to rebuild the whole project once again which is good so once you are done with the build process you can run dot Mac and then run command in order to run the browser so once you run this command it will open the browser so this is the browser which is not installed directly from the download page of firefox so we had built the source code and ran it on my local computer which is quite cool so this is nightly browser and now uh, the thing is i would like to modify something on front end okay so you can see there's a whole bunch of folders in the source code i am kind of interested to uh, change something which is visible on the front end so i came to know that this browser directory is responsible to have the code for the front end um we can actually find documentation about different directories what is this to contribute to the firefox code review getting code into the firefox to it all again let me check where is the link getting code base to work yeah so this is basically the main um, page from where you can navigate to different uh, places building firefox how to contribute to the code so anyone can contribute to the code I mean it doesn't have to be only the front-end developer or the back-end developer even people who are not developer can contribute to the Mozilla Firefox actually I'm not able to find the actual site right now uh, which has the reference to uh, different parts of the code uh, which explains about what do exist inside the folder I will share that in the description later on so 
the, uh, the thing I wanted to do was okay let me rerun the project once again so after reading the documentation I figure out that um, there is this address bar and the first thing that I wanted to do was to modify at least the text there in the text it says search with Google or enter address therefore I tried to find this text into the source code um, the first part was like uh, where is Nike? Yeah, this is Nike. so this Google is kind of variable it can be Google uh, Wing Dr. Go anything that's why I tried to search for the second half of the text and I figure out that in this browser FTL we have this placeholder and a variable in between the text and now I just try to modify just change the text in the source field and run the project once again now you can see the modif uh, the, you can see the modification in the source code so I have changed the source code and now I'm able to see this um, changes in the browser which means now it gives me a lot of possibility to modify the source code and check how it is working under the hood so this is just like a hello world uh, if you want to customize the browser um, so my exploration will begin from now and I will try to dive deeper and figure out different components of the browser and understand how it works under the hood so if you are interested and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you have something that you would like to understand or figure out just let me know so that I can dive deeper and uh, figure that out actually I forgot one thing one important thing uh, when I was trying to run just remember sorry for that I just remember that topic so let's go back to the documentation uh, when I was running dot Mac build I had an error and there is pretty good and active chat channel from Mozilla chat.mozilla.org and then I copy pasted the problem there was problem uh, related to this SSL certificate so it's just unable to get the local issuer certificate so I just copy pasted the issue into this channel into the introduction channel and thank God Emilio yeah Emilio he replied me and asked me to check if this command rust up is working on my computer or not I just copied it and then tried that on my computer I'm from the terminal and yeah it worked without any problem I will not install it, this again and then after doing that I had to retry I had to retry this dot Mac build once again and then everything worked smoothly thanks to Emilio once again I would like to thank Emilio from my from the bottom of my heart because I had tried to build the chromium project as well before Firefox and tried to ask help from chromium community from the chat uh, IRC channel no one replied for I guess two hours more it was more than two hours and then I said I will try Firefox and then finally I was able to build and run the project and I'm quite happy with that thank you Emilio once again so yes so that's what I wanted to share yeah if you like the video uh, or if you want to understand different concepts behind the browser how it works under the hood how uh, different components are connected in the browser um, I would like to explore that those things and probably create videos out of that so if you want to be updated with these things please subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah let me know what do you think thank you